Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome. Uh, does the microphone work? Yeah, OK, great. Um, yeah, welcome, first of all, to uh, set up our Center for Environmental and Technology Ethics here in Prague. Um, this is the, the context in which we organize this uh, workshop. And um, yeah, it's a center that uh, is funded by uh, European money. It's a, a, a European project to bring together these two fields and also to um, here uh, have some more, more um, connection with the um, international research in this field. So what we're going to, uh, to do today is um, talk in different ways about how to do that, huh? how to connect the environmental ethics and, and technology ethics um, to, to discuss what kind of directions this could take. Um, before we, we start, let me first say something about that. So I, I think we are in a kind of period of perceived crisis in various domains. And of course, both environmental and technology is part of that. I think about the climate crisis, um, but also energy crisis um, and all kind of economical uh, problems related to that. Sometimes Anthropocene is a, is a word that uh, is used to discuss uh, this, this, this intersection of technology and ethics. And um, we have also today, of course, uh, talks that, that touch upon this. Um, now, when we started this center here, um, it was important for us to try to bring together two fields that often are unconnected. Um, I saw this also in, in, uh, in my own research. Um, often the, the environmental philosophers don't talk to the uh, people thinking about technology. So that's really something we want to, uh, we want to change. And um, yeah, how to do that? Well, um, I think there are some obvious links. Of course, there is the, the impact of technology on the environment. For example, the impact of technologies like um, AI uh, and, and other digital technologies on climate change. Um, there's also, uh, yeah, technology is, is a, a way of relating to nature, a particular way of relating to nature. Um, one can, can uh, discuss this, for example, by, uh, by using uh, people like Heidegger and Latour. Um, yeah, the, the theme can also be explored in a sense of thinking about, like, how can we think about more relational ways, uh, both about environment and technology. And um, the, the question is also, what, what is responsibility for the planet? What does that mean? Again, that's, that's a way to bring together these uh, environmental and, um, and technological questions, for example, when we ask about future generations. Um, and of course, then, then also when, when one develops arguments and theory in this area, um, we need to think, what does it mean for technology development, for technological innovation? Um, for the governance of technologies also. So these are just some areas. Um, in my own work, it's, uh, I focused on more on moral status, also on how to relate to the environment, for example, in my book, Environmental Skill. And in the recent work, uh, for example, in Greenland and Vietnam, I have thought about, about this planetary dimension and um, um, what that means in the light of AI and uh, the value of, of freedom. Um, today in the workshop we will have uh, some of the themes I already mentioned. We will have Anthropocene, climate change, um, animal, thinking about animals. Um, uh, I think there will be also interest in relational ontologies uh, and it's in, in any case an area that could be further developed. Um, the responsible innovation, sustainability, the governance, as I said, about both digital and environmental. Uh, some speak about, uh, for example, the twin transition, uh, that we have uh, the transition of both this uh, um, environmental um, governance and the digital. And then, yeah, um, in, in all these discussions about how to relate to nature through technology, um, we, we also can put that in the context of discussions about modernity and what does it mean then to, to uh, think in a non-modern way or to live in a non-modern way or less modern way. And because I think we, we are necessarily 
all over the planet suffused with with uh, the uh, modern thinking but but can we do it different to what extent and i think that's also a very interesting uh, question so um, i won't take up more time because i'm very curious about the uh, keynotes and the others uh, uh, speeches